coffee bean has a really good new tea. It's called like black pearl or something. It's a, a chocolatey flavored tea. It's really good. It's a limited edition too. There's very little words that I can use to point to nothingness. And the brain will try and take this concept of emptiness and space and it'll t try to rationalize and reason it. It will try and fit it into a perfect little package so that it can play it out in its life. Because that's what the human, that's what the person energy does, is it claims everything that it sees and that it hears as, um, as kind of like a consumption. It has to personalize everything. Everything is about how I can use this message to improve my life. How I can use this experience to improve my life. How I can use this wisdom to improve my life. To live the way that will make me happy and free and joyful. And what I'm saying is that joy is what you are. How can you use this message to add something to yourself if you are everything? I imagine that most people don't want to listen to talks about non-duality because we're trained in this world into instant gratification. Into instant pleasure. If this message can't make you feel better right away, it's useless. But this is pointing to that which does not need to feel better. This is pointing to that which doesn't look beautiful, which doesn't look lovely, which doesn't look like anything. This is pointing to complete and total emptiness, which envelops and encompasses and is all that is. Can't get to a destination here. This is it. All of life in its messiness and its pain and its excruciating beauty is this message, all of it. No matter what happens in your life, what you get and what you lose, that which you are has never been gained or never been lost. I 
It doesn't matter what you do or where you go or who you are or who you think you are, what you gain and what you lose. It only ever mattered for the energy of the seeker, for the energy that wanted something other than what was. You can't run from life and expect to get here. You're running from your pain, running from your stress, running from your sickness, running from your poverty, running from your negativity, running from your anger and your hatred, your disillusionment, your separateness. You can't run from these things. It's all it. All of it. It's a beautiful quote from Rumi that says um, pretty much invite all these visitors in. Don't turn them away. Life is happening by itself, to itself, and for itself. Nothing you do, nothing you understand will change. What life is doing. You didn't have the idea to move to another location to take another job or to take another lover or to do more exercise or to make yourself tea or to forgive the long-standing relationship. You didn't decide to go take a bath or to go make your bed or to go for a walk. You didn't decide any of these things. A thought appeared out of nothingness. to move, to eat, to sleep, to walk. And that functioning just happened. And everything is appearing and functioning simultaneously. This is a huge, big love affair. When you look at something in your life that appears terrible, excruciatingly painful, fall in love with it. Let the falling in love with it happen. You can't do anything. How could you possibly do something? It either happens or it doesn't. That energy that feels like a constriction and a resistance that's constantly trying to claim and acquire and get to somewhere. That energy is also happening on its own. But it is the energy that doesn't know 
is not aware of what it is. But it makes no difference if that energy wakes up to its true nature or doesn't. But most likely, if this message is being heard, then that which knows itself is resonating with what this message is pointing to. And that's just happening. The watching this video just happened. It appeared. I had the desire to make it. The energy in you had the desire to listen to it. And the essence of life that this is pointing to is just happening to itself, becoming aware of itself. You can't do anything with these words. They won't lead you anywhere. This is very simple, what is being spoken about. It's pointing to a collapse. Complete and total dissolution. And I can't make this message pleasurable or take on any form. It is just what it is. In some cases, this message might stimulate extreme peace and extreme ecstasy. But because it's ultimately referring to the revelation of life just as it is, the seeing of the true reality, which might look like disease, which might look like a disaster, will appear, that will appear as it is. But that energy that wants it to appear a certain way is gone. Once it wakes up to itself, it can't unawaken itself. Once it sees what it is, it's done. You can't have a more pleasurable, joyful life when that happens. But most likely that will be the result of an awakening. But if that's your intention, and if that's what you think enlightenment is, then you're a victim to spirituality. Spirituality will take you down that path. And if that's what's happening, then that's what's happening. But this is a ruthless message. This can't be learned or understood or prayed into. This is... A genuine, authentic call of the heart being answered.